lights. I think I want two of these on the tiger shark. There's two of them. All right, I need to figure out how many. I'm not going to use the wires that came with it, I don't think. Partly because it's not long enough. And I, I'm just. It also comes with a relay switch, which is going to waste a bit of electricity. I'd rather just have a big switch. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm going to do the wiring myself. Okay, so I need to figure out how much energy these are going to use, how many amps need to run through the wires, so I can figure out what size wires I need. And I have... I just pulled out this big long piece of, I think it's three strand wire. Yeah, three strand wire. Now it looks like it's long enough. And I'm hoping it's thick enough. Let me think about this for a second. All right, I just checked. These are 18 watts each. So if I'm connecting two of them, that's 36 watts. So that's only like one and a half amps going into that, right? I think that's right. 24 volts times one and a half would be 36 watts, two lights. Oh man, it's so hot right now. I just finished digging. Oh, I've been digging every day. <laughs> and every day when I finish digging, I'm just like sweating for the next like hour and a half. I did jump in the ocean, but I didn't stand long enough to get cooled off that well. But that's okay. All right, let's get these con <laughs> lights connected. Uh, I was thinking this wire would be plenty thick for one and a half amps, but I just stripped an end. It's all black in there and corroded. Like maybe this was underwater at some point. Uh, I'll use it for something that's less, less mission critical. I might really need to rely on these lights at some point. So since I have this huge thing of wire, ooh, wait a minute. Oh. Yeah, I keep pretty well stocked in just random wires. Oh, hold on. What is that? Well, it's another triple strand. The wire is definitely thicker. Yeah, as long as this wire looks even remotely in decent shape, it should be good. Hold on a second. When I was putting that other one away, I saw this. It's 12 gauge, which is definitely overkill for this. However, it's only two strands as opposed to three strands for this. And if I'm using three strands, one strand is just gonna be wasted. So I'm gonna go with this one just because I, I feel like it. And there's definitely enough length here. All right. Okay, now I need a switch. It needs to do one and a half amps. And I wonder, dude, I bet this, oh, the tiny writing is so small. 10 amps. Oh, 10 amps. Why are they even running this through a relay? 10 amps, they only need one and a half, so we're good. Uh, and I'm wondering, does this little light, or does this little switch light up? That would be cool. And I like this because it's got a little rubbery thing around it. It looks like it's waterproof. Great for a boat. All right, step one, connect the switch. So I just need to drill a hole that's the right size. And then it looks like it's the kind that stuffs in there and just sticks. All right, that is gonna be pretty close. And I'll take a file with me in case I need to round it out a little more. All right, boat. So I sit back there, so I'm gonna want the switch back there somewhere. I do have one switch for the motor power right, right tucked up under here. Okay, where do I want to put the switch? I've got my motor power switch right here. Let's just check if everything's working. Oh, good. Everything's working. Great. Um, I don't want to put it in here because I have this cover that comes up under here and that might hit the switch. You know what? What about right in here? Here, here, or maybe right, right here. All right, let's see if that fits. Almost, so almost, so close. Okay, just need to file off a little bit. Ooh, got it in there. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. Cover off there, there's my nice fancy batteries. 
Man, I'm, I'm enjoying these. There's one in this compartment here, and then there's one in that compartment over there. And they're connected to each other, electrically speaking. Ooh, that's right! I did... Ah, what do you call them? Electrical posts. So all my negatives are connected here. The negative from this battery and the other one. And then all the positives are connected here. That's going to make it super easy to connect this lighting thing. I just have to take off the nuts, connect my negative, take, connect my positive, run them up through the thing. Need to drill a hole through up here somewhere to get the wire up into there. Well, I was doing my wires here and I just dropped my knife in the water. Oh, I see it it's right there. Uh, well, I went to grab my magnet. I hope this knife is magnetic. Please be magnetic. Yes. All right, very good, very good. Made some little connectors out of some copper pipe. Beauty. Good stuff. All right. Got my positive red. Positive, yep. Negative black. Negative. Okay, good. Uh, and now I've got live wires, so be careful. Okay, this is connected to the battery now. Here's my switch. So I need to strip off some of this stuff, expose the wires, and cut the red wire. Connect the red wire, one connect contact here, one contact there, so that will break the red wire until I turn it on. Alright. I had some connectors in my electronic stuff box. Should fit on there. And this guy up on the top one. Okay, I've got a wire up here. It runs along the ceil ceiling. It's got a switch back there, and it's, everything's connected back here. So, I've got power. Now, where do I put the lights? I was thinking up here. That would be a great spot in terms of a light, but they're going to get wet. And then I need to put the... I don't want to have the wire, like, right up here where it's getting wet. If I put them back here, well then I'm going to be lighting up part of the boat and it's going to screw up my vision. Hold on, hold on. What if I put them... Oh, I think that's... I think I like that. Because it's under the roof enough that I can keep my wires dry. There's nothing... I'm not illuminating anything in front of the light that's on the boat. Because, you know, if you're on a boat, and I've experienced this with a flashlight on a boat, if you're on a boat, you aim your flashlight forward to look at, like, out there. It illuminates the boat, and the, the boat ends up so bright it screws up your night vision so you can't see anything. So it's got to illuminate out there, but not illuminate the boat. It is going to illuminate this stuff, but... Yeah. Ooh, that's looking good. This thing did not come with stainless bolts, so... I used a stainless bolt out of my supply because this is definitely going to get wet at some point. Um, so thank you to whoever sent me those stainless bolts off my Amazon wish list. That was great. I actually use them on a lot of things. All right, I got these wires connected, red to red, black to black. Good. And I just cut little rectangles of stainless steel and uh, you know crimped them onto there. I think that's a good way to do it since this wire has to continue over to the other light. You didn't want to cut the wire. So I'm going to go test the wire or the light. And if everything's working, I'll wrap this up with some electrical tape. And that should be good. Okay, with any luck, let me turn that on. Oh, the switch doesn't light up. I was hoping it would light up. Anyway, hopefully when I turn that on, the light turned on. Oh, beauty. Good stuff. All right, let's go turn it off. Do, 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 do. All right, now hopefully it is off. Oh, everything is good. Oh, <laughs> that's super cool. Pair of headlights. Oh man, that's sweet. Oh, I love it.
Beauty. I could have put my headlights all the way up here and then it would really shine not on the boat at all. But I like them back there because they're undercover. They won't get rained on and stuff. Plus I didn't have to run the wires all, I don't know where I'd put them up here. I think they're good. Plus this way I can always turn them back to inside because they swivel. So I can aim them inside if I want lights inside for some reason. Oh, good stuff. <laughs> oh man, oh that looks even better now that it's starting to get a little dark. There's the sun right over there. Right there, just about to disappear. Man, look at those headlights. Oh, beautiful. Okay, if I have 5,000 watt hours of battery, more or less, and those lights use 36 watts, Oh man, I could have those things on for like a week. 